This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you could take a screenshot of an already designed website and mock it up onto a display like you see here on my screen uh, and have it look realistic with the reflection of light from a window in the room and everything like that. And if you'd like to know how you can customize GIMP with these updated icons, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the image. I'll have that linked in the description. So I'll just right click that and open it with GIMP. And there we have our image. And what we want to do now is right click on the layer and add an alpha channel. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this red area of the screen. We want this to be grayed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'll click this button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. Click on that. And what I'm going to do is go to colors and desaturate. And I'll leave this at lightness and just go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is get rid of the area outside of the screen because we still want the color of the walls in there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the um, paths tool, keyboard shortcut is B, and I'm just going to zoom in on this top left corner over here by just holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I'm just going to put a point right here and move down here, put a point down there. We want these lines, by the way, to move the page, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. We want these li this line to be going through the black area or the... Uh, the, uh, the frame of the screen like that. Go ahead and create some points going through there all the way around. Clicking to create a new point up there, over here, right there. And then back to the starting point, I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and then click the starting point. Now let me zoom out a little bit by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. With this selected, I'm going to press enter on the keyboard to create a selection. And then I'll go to select, invert, and then I'll press delete on the keyboard. Or if you're using Mac, go to edit, clear. And what we'll do now is go to select, none. And uh, I'm actually going to, uh, let's grab the move tool to get rid of those, those paths. And uh, I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer right here. And I'm going to click on the layer beneath it with the red screen so we can start working on this. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the inside of the screen altogether. So to do that, I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool and I'm going to bring the cursor over here and I'm just going to click and drag on this area until it creates a selection going around the entire screen like that. And then just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that area. Or again, if you're using a Mac, go to edit clear. So once that's done, we can go to select none. And as you can see, there's still like that logo left over because, uh, from the, uh, the, the fuzzy select tool. So we'll just grab the eraser tool and just get rid of that. And the problem we have now is that there's a little bit of red left over around the edges. So to get rid of that, I'm gonna go to colors, hue saturation, and I'm gonna click on R for red. And I'm gonna come down here to where it says saturation and just bring that all the way to the left. And you'll notice it gets rid of that red in there. Then go ahead and click okay. And we can hold control and roll out, uh, roll down on the mouse wheel. And what, I mean, what you could do now, if you want, is you could actually save this as a template. So if you want to place other designs in here in the future, you don't have to keep going back and doing these steps over and over again. So you could just go to File, Save As, and save it as a GIMP file. I think it's .xcf or so, .xfc or something like that. It'll be the default selection. So go ahead and save that if you want. What we're going to do now is grab a snapshot of the website. So I'm going to open up Chrome here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press print screen on the keyboard to, to grab a snapshot of the website and I'll come back to GIMP and I'll go to edit, paste as, and we want to select new image. And if you notice, it pasted a snapshot of everything that was on my screen. And in my case, it pasted the, uh, my other monitor as well that I'm using to record this, but you can just ignore that. So what, what, the reason why we pasted this in a separate image is because we just want to crop out this area of the website here. We don't want to include like the, uh, the Windows taskbar or the, uh, the URL box up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, uh, the, the, uh, the crop tool and I'm just going to uh, create a box going roughly over the area we want to crop out. And now what we could do is just hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in and just grab the bounding boxes in the corner and just place them where you'd like them to be. I'll leave that right there. 
Let me scroll down to the bottom. I'll take this one, put that right there. And these two should be all right. Actually, now I'm gonna move this over here. And I'll put this one, that one looks like it's all right. So I'll leave that right there. And once we have the bounding boxes of the crop tool where we want the image to be cropped, just go ahead and press enter and there's our new image. And with that selected, we can go to edit, copy. And now we can go back to our image over here and go to edit, paste as, new layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clipboard layer and click and drag it beneath the screen dash GIMP dash tutorial so it goes beneath here in that screen. And uh, I'm gonna grab the move tool and I'm just gonna click and drag this screen out of the way. And I'm gonna hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a little bit. And I'm gonna grab the perspective tool now and click on the image that's over here. And if you notice, uh, I have the uh, image opacity down at 18.5. It might be easier for you to bring that down. Uh, by default, it's set at 100. So it's, it, uh, for me, I find it's usually easy to bring it down to like 20 or something like that. So I'll leave that there. Let me get this in here. Uh, with the perspective tool, I'm just going to take each of these corners and place them in the corners of the television. Let me come over here and I grab that. And again, to move the page around like this, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And now I'm going to zoom in on this to, to, to align this on a granular level. I'm going to place the corner within the black frame of the TV and come over here and do this with the rest of the corners. And do this over here like that. And put that there. And let me just go through and double check everything, make sure it looks all right, make sure uh, none of the image is sticking out of the black frame. Might want to move this over a little bit. And that's looking pretty good. So I'll finalize that by clicking transform. And there we have the screen inside of, uh, uh, there we have the website inside of the screen. So what we're going to do now is come back up here to this top layer and turn the visibility of that back on. And now what we want to do is, um, well, first we want to get rid of this logo in here. So let me grab the healing tool, which is right here. And I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. I want the brush size to be about 106 right now. And I want to grab this, I want to hold control on the keyboard and click right about there to, to grab that as the selection. And that selection is going to be the reference point for everything we click on uh, afterwards. So once we've done that, I'm going to bring the cursor over to this logo over here and press on that just to get rid of that. Now we go back to the move tool. I'm just going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom back out. And now with this layer selected, we can go to the drop down where it says mode and change that to uh, hard light. And you'll notice now we have the reflection of the light from the window in the room shining on the screen, but it's a little too, it's a little too abrupt because it's graying out part of the white areas of the website. So to fix that, I'm just going to take the opacity and bring it down to like 60, maybe a little less, something like that. And there we have it. That's pretty much how you can create that using GIMP. The only step left to be now is if you really want to be granular with this, we can click on the screen GIMP tutorial layer. And let me zoom in and show you that uh, these edges here are a little choppy. So if you'd like to smooth them out, you can grab the crop tool, put a point right there, put a point through here, put a point through there, put a point going through that, those areas. back over here and then coming through here back to the starting point hold control and click on the starting node and press enter and then press delete on the keyboard and again if we're using Mac we're going to edit clear now we can go to select none click off of that tool to deselect and if you notice those choppy edges are now gone and you can come and do that down here as well this looks a little uh, these are uh, a little jagged down here so to fix that again I'm just gonna grab the uh, uh, pads tool create a line, create a path going through that. Oops. And one more going through here like that. Back to the starting point. Hold control, click on the first node, hit enter and press delete. Select none. Click off of that tool to get rid of those nodes and I'm going to press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. 
And with that, we're finished. We have created our website mock-up onto a screen using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.